I mean, for me, the, the embryological house really started as a, as a critique of the ideal villa by Colin Rowe and Vitkover. Um, and it also started with the statement that the ideal house was something to which nothing could be added or subtracted. So there really was a kind of aesthetic and conceptual start to it. And I wanted to design an endless number of houses uh, using, the, using digital techniques, but every one of them could be different. So this little diagram was the first concept I had for it where we would always have six control points that would then have nested in them you know, tens of thousands of other pieces of geometry. But you could always modify it just by moving those six control oh, points. Okay. So you could see you go from a circle to a kind of ovoid to an egg to a thing with a dent. And then in this direction, I started to explode the number of controls. So instead of just moving one point, we then moved all the other points within the one. And that's what happens in this axis. So um, is a variation for each of these possible changes. Sure, yeah. and then it's everyone a kind of in here is a mix of those. Yeah. So the, you know, the agenda was very much uh, an agenda driven within the discipline of architecture to produce something. And then there was this graphic technique, to uh, which I also think works as a, as a concept. I mean, I think you understand the concept of the variations and the family all within this one drawing. I used a program called MicroStation yeah. to make the, the first shapes, yeah. but this grid of deformations and of, of explosions was the way we organized it. So we ended up, I think, making 40-some uh, thousand different Variation. masses, and we could make many more. I mean, it literally is endless, but those 40,000 variations were driven by these curves.